so I have just five or seven minutes to explore something very interesting. I'm here by the seaside in Bulgaria in a very interesting uh, city. It has mineral waters and uh, spa, <laughs> how they call it, like, you know, people go to the mineral water for different treating. So anyway, this water needs to be hot. And so um, I was actually hired to make videos of their new installation for heating up the water. Let that, that make sure nobody sees me. So uh, I stepped aside and I'm going to show you something very interesting right now. It's the old heating system that they used back in the years. Look at this. I have to be careful because this building can pretty much fall apart at any moment. Let's enter inside and see. This is the yard over there and to the right is the new solar installation. They have four roofs with such panels and a modern system for the hot water deep under the ground. And this, this happens to be the old heating installation which has been built, I guess, in Soviet era. Wow. I certainly have to be careful, but look at this amazing space. It's so eerie. There's an opening to the sky and there are those panels which I guess fall by gravitation sometime. And this is a chimney. I cannot tell you too much about this installation. What I know is that uh, they have been big water containers installed here. Those red bricks are fireproof. So there could be asbestos there. So I should not spend too much time here. But you can see the very beautiful brickwork. I should make some pictures of this place after I finish shooting, look at this. Obviously they removed the water containers and scrapped them, but thankfully this interesting structure still remains. There's glass on, on the ground and I'm pretty slow because I'm really not dressed well and I'm also not wearing the right type of shoes. Look at those lights. It's beautiful. Quite amazing that they are still here. I also like how the sun is playing through the roof on that wall there. Okay. Yeah, there is a lot of glass on the ground. This is the other side of this heat resistant construction. Hmm, very interesting. Let me be careful. Whoa, look at this furnace. And this metal part on the ground. I don't know too much about how this place worked back in the time. But there is still some installation there. Wow! And look at this opening on the roof. Whoa, I would love to go there. If it's possible. <laughs> Can you imagine I'm walking in this black dirt and I'm wearing the worst possible shoes for this white summer shoes. Let's explore. Very beautiful. I'm so happy when I can 
make a video of such places because over time they get demolished and they are lost in history. We need to go and check this installation over there. Whoa, that! Oh, that's scary. Let's hope that does not happen. It's just crazy. Where to go? If I go over there, I may be seen from the outside. So let's let's go in that direction and check this system there. I'm still walking very carefully because of all the glass on the ground. Wow. Look at this beautiful Soviet era control panel. <laughs> Amazing. Look at this. 500 volts. I hope there is no electricity in this here because it has been pretty powerful. I can see there is nothing inside, but still, just imagine grabbing this and turning on the power of this whole space. A piece of furniture. Obviously a piece of the lighting that we saw. Some dark areas here, let's see what's here. Wow. Crazy. Amazing space. You never know who can be hiding in such areas. You can see some of the remaining panels over there on the left. And here there is an entrance to somewhere. But there are those metal bars. with such confined spaces is first of all they can be somebody hiding or well just sleeping inside and and also there is more dust flying around so you need to be double careful and here we are back in this big space I very much like this leather but unfortunately I'm not wearing my GoPro now I'm using the bigger camera, so... Do you think that those... those segments fell down by just somebody walking upstairs or somebody maybe cut this on purpose so that people cannot get inside? <laughs> wow! Look at this TV set! Raise the space. I'm not going to climb over there because I can see this building is pretty much empty, as you can see too. And uh, with with my shoes right now and this pretty much bigger camera, it will not be the right thing. I'm trying to be crazy and careful yet at the same time. Let's try to just. Yeah, there are rooms there. I'm not sure. I have to admit it's somewhat interesting. Let's see what we can find in this direction here. A metal door. Which was once used to keep people outside. 
and the restroom. And there we get out. One more restroom. It's pretty interesting to think. There was the bathroom here, and they obviously had like women and men restrooms. Well, I think that's pretty much it. There is even some electricity line, which is probably still powered. <laughs> and look at this pretty much intact tile. It's very beautiful. I wonder if those yellow circles actually represent the heat and the red lines are probably the heat moving towards the pools. I like it how back in the past they used to implement sim simple symbols in the things around us in order to show what a certain thing does. So yeah, what do you think guys? Should I climb those stairs? I think like not. You can see the construction isn't very, isn't very good. And I'm not dressed well. So even if I want to, there is no need to risk it. But I would like to check. Ah, okay. I want to see what if this goes somewhere on the back. But I'm realizing it's just it has been a board for like fire safety. Oh, we didn't check this over there. So that's something to do. Not too much to see here. Right. Lovely. I feel like I should go out. Well, let's see how that goes. One of the things that you need to be careful if you ever enter such places, like those glass windows and also the metal panels that I showed you before, because they can fall down at any time. Look, there are more power station elements over there. And we never checked what's there on that side. But this whole space looks pretty empty, so I'm gonna go out. You always need to be careful. And I'm not very careful while I'm here. So, let's get out. You always have to be considerate. I would not call it being scared or, or not even careful, but considerate. Because, you know, it's randomness. When you're in such place, something may or may not go on your head. And uh, usually nothing bad happens, but if you like overstay your welcome, then you don't know. So I'm actually thankful for being here to check out this place and share it with you. If you like it, you say something. And uh, you may want to remember about my Patreon campaign because it is important to just one dollar. It really helps a lot. Like if 10, 20, 100 people support me with just that little, it will mean the world to me because it will allow me to explore more and show you more beautiful places. Thanks for watching. See ya.